<sighs> Yo, hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Akitaro Timmy. I'm a wedding photographer. On this channel, we talk a lot about weddings, wedding photography, and the wedding industry in general. I share tips, I give you tricks, tell you a lot about my experience as a wedding photographer. The idea, the aim of this channel is that at least one person can become a much better photographer, a much better individual because they watch my video. Today's topic is kind of interesting because it's one question that I get in my DMs a lot or just randomly, like, how do you caption your images? Some people even send me pictures and tell you, I beg, caption this thing for me. I find that absolutely hilarious. By watching this video, I would kind of let you know I don't have a book of captions. You know, it's not like I go to one and I read through, you no. Know, but I have a thought process behind how I caption these images. So hopefully that would help you when you want to caption your image. All right, so we'll just go straight into it. So a while ago, well, a long time ago, I found out about algorithms, Instagram algorithms in this context and how, you know, Instagram keeps like updating them, you know, maybe in a year or in a month or in some months, you know, stuff like that. And, and as someone who thrives on social media for his business, I needed to understand, you know, the updates on every algorithm and how it works. So over time, I've come to realize when it comes to pictures, Instagram pushes engagements way more than likes. Engagement is, you know, comments, people are talking, or it's, it's an organic form of communication. So that way people know there's not fake people because if you buy like likes, you can't buy comments, right? So I've ever seen all those pages with like 50,000 likes and like two comments, it, it just doesn't add up. Okay, so engagements help Instagram push your post a lot further. And, not, and another good thing about engagement too is that if you have a brand, you know, that, 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 seems to like what you're offering and they want to use you, they want you to influence for them, they want to see engagement, they want to see you interacting with the target market that they're probably trying to market to. Okay, so engagement is really good. And engagement is so simple. All you have to do is like reply people, you know, and, and post stuff that is worthy of them commenting. So that was the beginning of, you know, the idea of, you know what, let me, let me try and do something different for what everybody's doing. Let me try and be captioning my images differently because all of us were selling fine pictures, right? And these days, you know, with a good iPhone camera or a good Huawei camera, you can get like pretty dope images. So what do I have to do that would make me different from the next person? Instagram allows you to just post one picture. Oh, well, not allow you to do 10, but for me, that is injustice because the way my, my uh, uh, prowess, my skills and design, you know, it, I tell the full story and one image doesn't really tell the whole story, okay? So um, since we're all selling that one image at a time, and if you give it, if you show like a, a, you know, a normal person, you know, 10 different pictures from 10 different photographers and be like, pick one, they probably see, think maybe eight of them are like, there's no difference, right? So what can I do differently? And that was when I started thinking, you know what, if you caption it differently from the way other people caption their images, perhaps you can get a much better audience. So now, um, if you look at these images that I caption, yeah, they are specific to me because they are images that are moments. It is so much easier to caption moments than to caption a pretty picture. Okay, a pretty picture is nice and a pretty picture sells. That's probably why makeup artists get like 5,000 likes and all they have to do is like one click, you know? I mean, obviously after like their beautiful makeup, right? Just one click or two clicks with good lights and they're good. But we are like tumbling, rolling, trying to get different angles and then we shoot it and then it's like just 200 likes, right? So a pretty picture will sell your market. But a pretty picture is difficult to capture. That is the problem because it's just a pretty picture. So there's not a lot of message you're trying to pass across. Just, hey, this is my bride. It's just beautiful. Finish, right? However, if it's a moment, you can capture the moment better because people can relate to that thing. You know, at least one person probably has been through it or understands what you're trying to say. So the moment people can relate, the more they engage, oh my God. I have seen this before. Oh, this has happened to me before. This is so true. This is the mood, you know, stuff like that. And from there, you just keep getting engagements. So I will show you examples of what I'm trying to say. So here I have a pretty picture of a couple that I shot last year, 2019. Amazing duo. I love them to bits. Um, um, this is a lovely picture and it hits 
all the markers for me with regards to you know a beautiful portrait of the bride and groom and what are these markers um that they're touching so there's that form of connection uh i love how she's looking to his him and he's looking to his heart it's another form of connection and the smile the smile is just absolutely lovely so you can tell that they've known each other for a while right it's not it's posed but it's not posed at the same time yes however this is hard 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 to caption when you come up with a caption for this, it's just going to be one of those witty, cringeworthy captions like she looks into my eyes and she sees the sun and the moon. People always see different things in their eyes. I never see anything in anybody's eyes. You know, and they have white teeth. So, uh, uh, smile so bright, I get blinded. Ugh, all those cringe ones, you know what I mean? And sometimes I don't have a problem with the cringe ones, right? But the cringe ones can only get you so far. But nevertheless, I would still post pictures like this because they sell market. They sell market and they're very good. So, now I'll show you a different picture that once you see it, you can probably relate to it and it's a lot easier. I will give you like the simplest of captions and you need to go for it. So now this is a shot of the same bride and she's dancing. She is busting a move, a whole move. Here you can see she's into the dance. It's almost like she's paid to dance. She is so into it and it's, it's, it's passionate. It's, ugh, it's right there. Do you know if I just wait till Friday and I post this on Friday, all I have to, dust, all I have to type is, weekend mood loading or you know i can't wait for the weekend or i can't wait for it to be 5 p.m i'm ready for the weekend or friday mood you know what i mean and people can relate to it because people are at the office and they're looking forward to the weekend and i see someone like oh just dancing yeah so this is easier to caption because it's a moment it's not a pretty picture it's a moment so all i have to do is just caption it based on what i'm trying to tell with the image and then i just add maybe one or two funny things in there and that's it. It's as simple as that. Another thing that I do with my captions is um, I can I can tell a story with them, right? And the story one also boils down to you know um, um, the way I take my images. So as a photographer, if you're looking to caption your images, you just have to change the way you take them, right? And and if, if you're trying to sell more moments like I do, it would be it should be easier for you to caption it as opposed to if you're posting a pretty picture. So I would, um, let me see. So this is wedding I shot recently, actually in 2020 in January. So it's very recent. So this first picture shows the bride turning on the tie. It was the idea of the, of the MC at the time, right? To give them tasks. And um, the groom was supposed to do stuff that the bride will often do and the bride doing stuff that the groom will often do. So the bride started first and she was given a tie and she knotted it perfectly, which kind of made me embarrassed because I don't know how to knot ties. Now, I don't have to explain that to you because it's very obvious in the picture. That's the way I take my pictures, you know, such that I don't have to say anything, but you can see it in the image. Now, the next picture, is him doing what he's told to do, which is to tie the ghillie. So they call the groom's mind out and then he comes and he ties it on, on, on him. Now, uh, uh, based on the angle I'm taking it, I'm not just taking him tying the ghillie, I'm taking him tying the ghillie with her looking at him. Self-explanatory. Then the next shot, right, shows her probably like Amber eyes, like, oh my God, this guy is gonna kill me. Like, what kind of ghillie are you tied? And then afterwards he comes to the front and then he comes to look at what he has tied and he cannot believe it. He's probably embarrassed himself. Now, if I post this sequence in Instagram and I explain it the same way I just explained it now, I expect to get a reaction from someone. At least one person will just be like, oh, this is so funny. Or I, I beg the guy tried with Gilly. Oh my God, I can't even tie Gilly this good. This guy is, is, is husband goals at 100. Do you get what I mean? So it just keeps coming, it just keeps coming. And I just keep replying like, oh my God, yes, this is true. I, I need to add that to my torn now, you know, that I can tie Gilly and stuff like that. And before you know it, you have tons of engagement on your page, right? So that is pretty much it. I don't know if that helps. Uh, I really hope it does. I'm, I'm see if I can try one more picture. So here is a groom giving like um, his um, thank you for coming speech, right? Now, I think a lot of photographers probably wouldn't show it this way, that we show a man on the mic talking, which is not that bad, right? But because of my diligence, you know, and experience, I guess, um, um, if I'm taking a shot like this, I am waiting, right, for 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 a, a shot that would that would tell the story without me having to say anything. So as he came up, he took the mic, he started talking. But then, on behalf of my wife and I, right, so he pointed. That was the shot. That was what I was waiting for. So I can, being that this is kind of like a moment-ish, right? It's not a pretty picture. There's a story here. All I have to do is just post and just be like, 
every time Boone's come up state and they want to give their um, uh, closing remark, they're always saying on behalf of my brother and I, why did they do that? I ask the question. And then someone's like, eh, no, it's not on behalf of both of them. It's not on behalf of one person. So you get and then I replied, oh, yeah, but I mean, can we do it differently on behalf of uh, um, uh, me and my wife as opposed to on behalf of my wife and I? Oh, oh, oh I, you know, I just come up with random stuff and then that's it. But the idea is to just get the engagement. And then before you know it, you check your insights and people are sending your pictures to other people like, look at what this guy is writing. This is hilarious. And before you know it, you're selling markets. So that is how I capture my images. That is the thought process behind every image. You know, when I post it, this is what I'm trying to get at. So I do a, a mixture of pretty pictures and moments pictures. And that's how I get my captions. So if you send me a picture of you in the room or in the bathroom where you go to shop right, or you're at the airport, then you're like, just caption it for me. It's probably not a moment. So this is a pretty picture of yourself. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm sorry, absolutely nothing. Except you want cringe worthy stuff, you know, when you're always seeing the sun, moon, and the stars. I hope this has helped someone. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on that notification icon for my next video. Okay? Thank you guys.